Hey guys, you know it's been almost a year since I started making my Luke Makes a Video About Blah 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 show. Well, not really, now that I think about it. In fact, it was pretty long before. It's, it's a year since I started planning it. Let's put it that way. I've had ups and downs. It's been a big experience. People have supported the show. People have hated the show. You know, even though admittedly not many of either. But overall, it's been pretty much awesome. And I've developed my style that I hope you guys will all enjoy and stuff. My whole thing is sharing my experiences with you. That's that's what it's all about. Uh, I'm a film student after all. I don't put, you know, just a bunch of random things together. It's all it all comes from from in here, from my my heart my my heart stop my heart In all seriousness though, just this one time I'm gonna do a video in my original style, the way I originally thought that my videos would play out basically, the way I did it for my first ever video. There's going to be references to it because it's quite similar, you'll see what I mean. Um, so if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the description-y, majiga thingy, down there, or where, if it's new YouTube, it's probably like up there, um, if you haven't seen it. So, you know, check that out if you haven't seen it, like I just said. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, stay safe. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Luke Makes a Video About Whatever He Feels Like show. In this episode, anime. To be specific, the top 9 anime opening songs. As per usual, these can only be shows that I've seen. I mean, come on, I'm not omnipotent yet. Sheesh. What I'm looking for in this list is something that either captures the mood of the show, or is just a really good relevant song. Pretty low requirements, really. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? Starting us off spectacularly with an anime I already mentioned in the other list that I did, Chovitz at number 9. Now I'll admit, I'm not that much of a musically inclined person, so I couldn't tell you exactly why I like this song and the way that it sounds. Why am I doing another music episode then, I hear you asking? Because, just because, I want to. Anyway, Let Me Be With You opens Chovitz, and I think it's fair to say that it's almost a perfect match. I mean, let's put it in context of the show. It's not just about Hideki and Chi wanting to be together romantically, but also just physically. It's kind of a huge coincidence that they met at all, and pretty much everything that could happen does happen to keep them apart. Not to mention that it's considered pretty bizarre and it's shunned to be with a Persicon, so there's that aspect too. Mostly I love this song because it's just so damn cheerful. Even though it does have some somber suggestions, it really gives you hope for the two characters, without spoiling anything. You never really see them together in the intro, and it's not implied in the song either. It's all just their tango of desire. Even some TV shows fail to give you that after a whole season, so it's nice when something can pull it off in about a minute. Number 8, Angel Beats. What? Another one from the list? Well, yeah, it just so happens that these were the first ones I thought of. Nothing conspiratorial here, I assure you. Now, Angel Beats is full of feels, and nothing in the show is quite as full of feels as this song. Well, except for the theme of SSS song, as we learned in the last lesson. Hope you were taking notes. Well yeah, it's not quite the most emotive song in my opinion, but that doesn't stop it from being amazing. I feel like dat chorus is an appropriate phrase for this. This song definitely fulfills the mood of the show check. It really gets you excited. Unlike Chobits, which, like many animes, doesn't have the intro in the first episode, Angel Beats does and it immediately puts you into the right frame of mind for the story. It's missing a bring tissues notice though, so points down for that. Now, I have seen this show again since my last episode, and I did spend more time watching it, and I can definitely say that I was still pretty shaken, even when I knew what was going to happen. So if you haven't seen Angel Beats yet, I definitely recommend it. If you don't know why I do recommend it, watch the intro again in its fullest and you'll understand. Moving on to number 7, Shuffle, with an exclamation mark, kind, kind of important, I, I think. My general consensus on this show is a resounding, eh. It's alright, but it's by no means a masterpiece. You know that you're watching a show for the wrong reasons when you start it because it has a voice actor you like in it. In this case, specifically it was Natsu from Fairy Tale in the dubbed version. 
But hey, this isn't a list of my favourite animes, it's a list of intro songs, and this one without a doubt deserves a spot. It's such a great freaking song, it definitely hypes the show in a massive way, and again, that chorus. I think we need the Tumblr tag, hashtag, that chorus, but definitely so for this song. You know those animes that you instinctively remember when you hear something from it? This is one of those occasions for me, and it really made me want to like the show more than I did. Maybe I'll go back and rewatch it. Anyway, give it a Google if you're interested. Number 6, Sword Art Online, or SAO, or SAO. As in, I SAO love this anime, even though I've SAOly just SAOted watching it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be quiet. Well, yeah, everyone's been hyping this show for the past few months, and I only just got hold of it to see it myself, and all I can say is that it's pretty badass. And the opening song pretty much nails that mood. I love the fact that it just flows so well through what I imagine the main characters would be feeling. It starts quite sombre, but picks up in spirit quite quickly and reminds us why we keep watching. It's an experience in itself, almost. Without seeing more of the show, I can't say much else, other than it really gets me excited to watch the show. And I'm talking fairy tale excited here. It has the same kind of motivating momentum that that show does. Not making you want to watch more, but go have your own adventure. I really should make a playlist for adventure music or something, I keep talking about it. Number 5, Lucky Star. What is it with this anime? I just love it so much, and it's so uneventful sometimes. Let me put it this way, this song is friggin' amazing. It's everything that an anime introduction song should be. It's quick, upbeat, memorable, and yet in the first episodes of the show, the main characters are sitting around talking about how they eat certain foods. In detail. Why? Why is that something that has to happen in anime land? Why? Why is it so freaking awesome? I'm mainly getting around. I get that the show is cleverly satirizing the stereotypes of otakus and breaking the fourth wall, but it's still pretty cool that such a bizarre premise could be so effective. But anyway, the intro, like I said, it's memorable, and I think that it's one that when I'm old and my brain is all wrinkled, I'll still be able to recall where it's from. What I love most about this song though is, it's not really even an introduction. I don't want to spoil too much, but essentially it turns out that the whole song is choreographed right at the end of the show. So it's like the whole show is just one big prologue leading to that point. Obviously that isn't the point of the show, but it's just an interesting thought that it could be taken that way. Number 4, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Ahem, <clears throat> hashtag that awesome chorus. Different from that chorus of course, why? Just to make things a little bit more complicated. Here's a question for everyone watching, do you love Neon Genesis Evangelion? If you said no, you may now leave, NGE is a fantastic show. If I'm honest, it was actually this show that made me want to do the episode. I was watching this anime again and noted just how amazing the soundtrack is, especially the intro. I can't help but relate this show to an old TV show I used to love, Thunderbirds. And even though that show had an awesome and memorable introduction, there's just something about this one that's so much better. It's just so... anime. You know what I mean? Nowadays when someone says anime, people instinctively think of giant robots, boobs and tentacles. But when this show came out, that stereotype wasn't really around. If you watch it today, it may seem a bit cheesy, but back then, whoa! Imagine seeing this for the first time when it first came out. Groundbreaking stuff. But anyway, the intro. I forget what my original point was, but goddamn, isn't it just great? Let's just take a moment to enjoy this song. Yeah. Yeah.
Number three, Love Hina again. Now I know a few people who dislike Love Hina for being way too generic, but screw that, I love this anime. Remember in my first video when I mentioned that Chobits was one of the first animes I ever watched? Well, Love Hina came shortly afterwards, and it left no less impression on me than Chobits did. Love Hina's introduction song was just fantastic. It's excessively happy and charismatic, and it made me feel like the show was just there to be entertaining. It didn't take itself too seriously. But to be honest, I preferred the again version of the introduction. I watched it again maybe two years after seeing the original show, so I was super excited to get back on the Hinata bandwagon. And then this music started and I realized that this was going to be a totally different show. Well, not completely different, but I'm sure what you mean and... Uh, whoa, okay. This certainly took a turn for the better. I'd be lying if I said that the partial nudity in the introduction didn't make me want to watch the show more, but I'd also be lying if I said that I didn't just enjoy the song. It's a little bit more mature, not in the sense of the boobs, but in the age sense. Which makes sense, since all the characters are slightly older, but it also has this flanging sound effect that reminds you that this is still going to be quite a light-hearted and zany show. It brings you right back into the original feel of the show, and it immediately makes it seem like a sequel, rather than just a story based around it. Too bad there are only three episodes. I'd love to see what else they could come up with. Maybe one day there'll be a love heater again, again. Probably not. Number two is, let's see if I can pronounce it without killing it this time, Nikijo. Is that right? Yeah, in the last episode I did the outro song, and this episode is the intro song. And for the record, I'm talking about the second intro song from episode 14 onward. It's not confusing at all. To be honest, I didn't like either of the songs at first. They're so eccentric, and they're also co-sung by a man, which is, to be honest, unusual for me. I can't think of any other shoujo which is sung by a man. Not to say there isn't one, but I just can't think of any, especially one with such a dramatic singing voice. That said, both the songs have grown on me and I really love them, it totally made me do a 180. Now, I mentioned before that I think the protagonist in Nikijo is Nano, and I still stand by that. And if you don't think so, then well, you should go write me a comment and tell me how you don't think similarly to me and I'll respect your opinion and we can both live happily ever after. However, the first song definitely has more feels for me about Nano. It definitely captures her problem a little better than the second, which is more like an introduction of all the characters equally. Not that that's bad, of course. Heck, it's on this list. I think the main reason I prefer the second song is that by the time I got to it, I was just so used to the craziness of the show, and I was so much more eager to accept it. Plus, it's just damn great. There's also an awesome Snoop Dogg remix out there. Definitely go find that. Also, to get on a more serious note for a second, apparently the sales of Nikijo weren't that great. It's one of my favorite animes ever, and I think most people would agree that it's awesome. So make sure you go buy a copy if you can, so we can all support this fantastic show. Bye! Here it is, number one. If you know me at all, you should know immediately what this is. Number one goes to... The fairy tale theme slow, but I'm just kidding, it's not, I'm not gonna do the same thing twice. Actually, it goes to the melancholy of Harry Suzumiya, and I'm talking about the intro song from Season 1, Booking Desho Desho. I think most people would do the same as me, which is after a while I tend to skip through anime's opening sequences no matter how much I like it. But this one? Nope. Still level enough to watch it every time. Now, I'd probably better clarify. I love the song a lot, but I think that the thing that makes it worthy of number one for me is the show, and how the opening perfectly represents the feeling I get from it. I'm a huge fan of the anime, anyone who's seen any of my videos should know that by now, and for reasons I can't explain, it motivates me, and this song basically captures that. Even now, it sends a shiver down my spine and brings back all the feelings from the show. So hey, this choice is more personal than just liking the song, but that's why it's in my list. I know there are people who love the theme from Death Note. Heck, as I said in my last video, even the fairy tale theme is freaking awesome. But ultimately, what is an intro if not the essence of what a show is about? And to me, the best intros are those that represent what I love about the anime. And nothing represents better an anime that I like than the melancholy of Harry Suzumiya. Now you could say, Luke, why you no know like the second song? To which I say, Nah. The first season's song had depth, emotion, and it just felt like the theme of Harry Suzumiya herself. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the second season's intro, just not nearly as much. Last video I went into an emotional speech at the end about anime, and I'm not going to do it this time. Instead I'm just going to say that we all have different opinions, and while yours may be completely different from mine, remember that we're still talking about the same thing that we both like, anime and film. And at the end of the day, our similarities define us more than our differences. Discussion is good. I want to know what intros you love, and I hope that you at least understand my reasoning why I like mine. So what if we like different shows and still like the same medium? 
Thanks a lot for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and visit my Facebook page where I talk about whatever the hell I feel like. Hey, it's like a little, tiny little Luke makes a video about whatever he feels like show episode every time, except without the video and the show. Catch you later.